tibu kobra na tibu areo na tibu nkine zizi na hita ni agopom. 50-year-old Esther Iwoi lists the type of snake bites she claims she can successfully treat. The traditional healer is a ray of hope for many here in Kenya's Great Rift Valley, where snake bites are certain death and medical assistance often days away. Many will travel hundreds of kilometers to Iwoi's hut in Baringo in the hopes of having their lives fully restored. 75-year-old Philip Chibi was bitten by a poisonous snake on his right eye. He hasn't had much success with other health facilities. At one clinic, they told me they would have to remove my eye completely if the infection didn't go away. That's when I decided to try this traditional healer. His son brought him here. Evoy's tools, not a stethoscope, scalpel, or even vials of magic potions. She uses something she and others call the black stone. Evoy says the stone came from England, that her husband had been the curator of the Dr. Richard Leakey Snake Park, where he found out the stone could be used to suck out snake venom. Evoy inherited the stone from him and has been using it for more than 30 years. She uses cold water and fresh cow's milk to sterilize the stone and then places it onto the injury. The stone will stick to the fang wounds. It will sip the venom and remove the poison. The duration taken will depend on the amount of poison the snake lodged onto the patient. At the end of the treatment, Iwoi sterilizes the stone again and stores it in this container. Patients tell us that they have been cured as a result. Today's patient says he felt better after the treatment, but it will take a few days to find out whether he was in fact cured. Iwoi has a medical condition of her own. She was paralyzed 16 years ago in a road accident. When she's not treating snake bites, she crushes rocks to make concrete. Iwoi says she will never turn away a patient and charges according to their financial capability.